The heart of the laboratory was the technical area. This is where the science and the engineering was done for the bombs. These were three-story wooden buildings, really expanded barracks, painted camouflage green, not intended to outlast the war. In these buildings, the world's leading physicists and other scientists worked six days a week surrounded by high fences and military guards trying to develop a bomb before Nazi Germany. These buildings were destroyed decades ago, but some important properties from the Manhattan Project remain in the laboratory's vast areas behind the fence, out of public view. People are uh, sort of surprised to see in the, in the context of this forest, cut out of the forest are these little clearings in which these technical buildings exist uh, where high explosives research is going on, activities associated with the nuclear weapons uh, mission of the laboratory. So it is sort of a, a funny juxtaposition. There's herds of elk walking between these buildings at the high explosives area, and so it is a, it is a strange contrast. One of the most significant Manhattan Project properties is the site where the gun-type bomb was developed. The reason we call it the gun site is because there was a naval cannon there that was used to do experiments. Explosive experiments were set up, people went down into the bunker because uh, shrapnel often would fly um, all over the place, and then observe the experiment from the periscope and then go up and collect their information. Through the tests at the gun site, the design for Little Boy took shape. Sure enough, that's what the Hiroshima bomb was. They simply dropped a cannon, if you will, out of the airplane, and when it approached the ground, the, the cannon went off and assembled it and formed a prompt critical assembly that, that produced you know, 12 or 13 kilotons of energy.